Albert Lee. Thanks for watching. ABC 6 News at 6 starts right now with Weather First. Great to have you here with us on this Saturday evening and a beautiful blue sky for some folks out there right now, but others have seen a little bit of rain today. Looking at radar right now, we can see some showers off to our southwest. I'll let you know how long they stick around. Coming up in just a few minutes. Now it's six. Next thing I know, I <laughs> wake up in the back of an ambulance. Years of treatment yielded no results for one man struggling with seizures. How Mayo Clinic helped to get his life back on track. Plus, we need to make sure we have backup systems in place. How systems in Minnesota are faring after yesterday's tech outages. But first, what you need to know about a structure fire in southeast Rochester. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Rachel Mantos. A trailer home caught fire in Rochester this morning. Rochester Fire Department arrived on the scene finding a trash can and lean-to fully engulfed in flames. The fire had spread to the nearby trailer home. RFD was able to knock down the fire. Thankfully, everyone made it out safely and no one was injured. Now, the story of a young man from Plainview, Minnesota. For the last few years, his life was ruled by a debilitating birth defect he didn't even know he had. That is, until he visited Mayo Clinic, where ABC 6 News reporter Chandler Jackson joins us live with more on this story. Chandler? Rachel, uh, so sorry. Uh, Rachel, it was here just nine months ago that the subject of our story, a man by the name of Parker Shanks, came face to face with the thing that he came face to face with the thing that took his life and turned it upside down. The first time Parker Shanks had a seizure, he was a junior in college. Until then, he lived a carefree life, playing basketball and studying for classes. It was a typical day when he had his first seizure out of the blue. But everything before that, I had normal memory of just hanging out, and then next thing I know, it's probably 10, 15 minutes later, I'm just laying down on the couch. After that, nothing would be the same. We've never dealt with anything like this. We haven't had this in our family. Um, we, I, we don't recall anyone in our family having had seizures. And so for us, it was confusing. Eventually, Shanks' condition took a turn for the worse seizures becoming more frequent, and medication wasn't doing anything to help. Just trying to live became a hazard. They, they let you drive again in Wisconsin if you haven't had a seizure uh, for three months, and um, it got to the point where I was good. I was uh, to a point feeling kind of comfortable again, and uh, one day I was driving back from work, and next thing I know, I <laughs> wake up in the back of an ambulance. That's when it really hit the, hit the scarring kind of a feeling on that that without question will be a scarring moment <laughs> forever, for sure. Years of testing got Shanks nowhere in figuring out what his condition was. Until finally, he and his family decided to try their luck at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Doctors there found the problem almost immediately. And we all look at each other like, did he just, did we hear, like, you know, did he just say that? It was a small defect, barely a half inch in size, that developed when Shanks was a baby. The, the skull, uh, initially, when you're a baby, is comprised of multiple uh, pieces. Uh, these plates start to fuse together. But sometimes, as these plates are fusing together, they don't. Portions of it may not fuse perfectly together, leaving little gaps in the skull. If you have that gap, part of the brain can poke through. Within a week of the discovery, Shanks received surgery that finally cured his seizures. He's now nine months seizure-free. There, there's a lot of days where I, I kind of, I kind of think about it. I'm like, I haven't thought about it the whole time. Almost three million people in the U.S. have epilepsy, and studies show that for nearly 40 percent of them, medication doesn't help. Parker hopes that by sharing his story, he can maybe help somebody who may be looking for the answers. Live in Rochester, Chandler Jackson, ABC Six News. All right, thank you for that wonderful story, Chandler. Well, the ripple effects of yesterday's massive IT outages are still being felt around the world today. Many different industries have been affected, with 911 outages in multiple states and at least a dozen hospitals impacted. The chaos all tracing back to a faulty software update from cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. They've now deployed a fix for the issue, but the scope of the outage shows a society dependent on technology. I think what we do need to work towards as a goal is resilience. 
and we need to make sure we have backup systems in place, backup plans so that if our primary systems don't work, we have something we can turn to. Some industries still scrambling to recover. And Minnesota wasn't safe from these outages, but the state is starting to bounce back. Minnesota Department of Revenue announcing this morning their e-services and other online systems are back up. It's also issuing a tax filing grace period for all tax types due Monday and Tuesday, giving taxpayers until Friday to file or make payments without penalties. And other places in Minnesota aren't so lucky as the chaos at Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport continues today. Over 250 flights have been canceled or delayed at MSP. It's a mess that's causing massive headaches for stranded passengers. We flew out of Atlanta and Nashville yesterday to come here and we showed up at Atlanta's airport and it was a madhouse. And so I was surprised we even made it to Minneapolis in the first place. The airport says it may take several days before it can get everything back online and running as intended. Still ahead this evening, calls for President Biden to drop out of the race to the White House continue to grow louder, who some Democrats are suggesting as an alternative candidate for the 2024 election after the break. It is said that the eyes are the windows into the soul, which begs the question, can a window have a soul? At Renewal by Anderson, we think so. When it's a window forged from fibrous, in over 100 years of refined craftsmanship, the essence of who we are transforms into a superior, stunningly beautiful window. So yes, a window can have a soul. For a limited time, take advantage of this great offer. Find out why we are the better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. God's love is all around us and sometimes it's hard to find. Come join us as we discover together where God's love is in our world. Join us in person or by watching Peace and Power Sundays at 10 a.m. on ABC6. The Olmstead County Fair is back this July 22nd through the 28th. Don't miss out on our grandstand entertainment featuring IMP Autocross on Friday and Saturday, followed by the IMP Demo Derby on Sunday. Enjoy live music performances on the free stage, including Hair of the Dog, The White Key, The Soul Train, and more. Plus, the Gold Star Amusements Carnival is back with rides for all ages. Visit OlmsteadCountyFair.com to plan your visit and discover everything the fair has to offer. The Olmstead County Fair, where city and country come together. Presented by Priority Construction Services. Being out here in the middle of nowhere, you know, we're very appreciative of companies like ABC 6 News that thought of us to be a part of this program, and it's helped us a lot with getting new customers out here. So we're very appreciative. I definitely encourage businesses to utilize ABC 6 News sure had fun doing it for one and we also are very proud lots of good feedback a lot of people coming in just to tell us you know good job and that we're, they're proud that we were a part of that no matter where you are count on abc6 news to tell every story to cover every community to track every storm here for you every day on air online and streaming abc6 news everywhere hey good morning america Good morning, America. Good morning, Southeast Minnesota. Good morning, North Iowa. Are you ready? They are ready. Covering the biggest events right now. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> you don't just see it, you feel it. I'm in. I'm in. I am in. I'll be here. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, I'm in too. ABC 6 News, good morning and good morning, America. Now that's good. Be a part of the ABC 6 News team. If you see news happening, call our newsroom at 507-258-7261 or email us at news at kaltv.com. Welcome back. Calls for President Biden to end his re-election bid continue as he recovers from COVID this weekend. At least 38 congressional Democrats have publicly called on him to step aside. People now gathering outside the White House, also calling on Biden to pass the torch. Senator Elizabeth Warren shows support for Biden, but suggesting Vice President Kamala Harris could lead the ticket. Joe Biden is our nominee. He has a really big decision to make. If President Biden decides to step back, we have Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, who is ready to step up, to unite the party, to take on Donald Trump, and to win in November. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, are in Michigan for their first joint campaign event tonight. 
And when we come back, a Rochester boy is making his way to a world championship. Find out where he's heading and what big tournament he'll be competing in. And whether you're seeing blue sky out there right now or rain, we are going to have a quiet night, but I'll let you know when the storm chances return coming up in a few minutes. Plus, why people in Lanesboro are excited to spend a day out on the water after changes to Root River's water levels. Stay with us. Have you been able to find a company you can trust for the recent storm damage? Call Weather Shield Home Experts. We're manufactured, GAF certified, and BBB accredited local business. We'd like to sit down and explain the process with a free consultation. Call Weather Shield Home Experts today. We saw a tremendous response right away. People coming in saying, I saw your ad. Um, people calling, wanting to know who we are, what we are. I wanted to reach out and try something different, and I, I did, and I'm more than happy that I, I did. I would tell anybody that's looking for a, a way to advertise to give KAAL a shot. Just give them a shot and see what they can do for you. Do you have unwanted guests? Bob the Bugman can't remove all your pests, but for insects, rodents, bees, and other flying and crawling bugs, call Bob the Bugman. Vertical platform lifts give you or a family member in a wheelchair or a scooter the ability to easily enter and exit your home. Vertical platform lifts can be installed indoors or outdoors and provide access to an entryway, deck, or basement with just a press of the button. A modular ramp system can make any home easily accessible and keep your loved ones comfortable in their home. Call us today for a free evaluation. Corner Home Medical, we're there for you, cause you got a lot of living to do. When stories happen. For some homes, it's just a puddle, but other people haven't been so lucky. Now the neighbors are doing their best to clean up what remains. ABC 6 News is there. But you wouldn't think of this pizza cutter as a weapon. Covering what matters. Well, only one person is in custody tonight. Police believe that multiple people could be involved in the shooting. So you know. Some parents are now saying that the school went too far. They were given permission. There was no damage. ABC 6 News. Everywhere. Six on Your Side helps us give back to you, whether it's showing up for local nonprofits in our community or providing you the information you need, we're there. Six on Your Side, everywhere for everyone. Have you been able to find a company you can trust for the recent storm damage? Call Weather Shield Home Experts. We're manufactured, GAF certified, and BBB accredited local business. We'd like to sit down and explain the process with a free consultation. Call Weather Shield Home Experts today. Closed captioning on ABC 6 News is brought to you by Hearing Associates. Thanks for staying with us. In Rochester, it's an exciting time for one local boy as he gets ready to head to Honolulu for a very special occasion. And that occasion is the World Pokemon Championship Tournament. Elliot McPike is only 12 years old, but earlier this year he qualified to compete in the tournament. He's been competing in tournaments for the last two years, both in Rochester and all over the country. This is actually his second time qualifying for the World Tournament. Last year, he got to travel to the UK, where he placed in the top 50 out of 100. But it's also a great family bonding thing. We get to practice together, we get to travel together, we get to do all of these events, and I, I couldn't be prouder. Yeah, I like being able to travel with my mother. Elliot and his family will be heading to Hawaii on August 16th through the 18th for the tournament. He hopes to place in the top 32 this year. If you are curious about getting involved in tournaments like these, you can find a link on our website, kaaltv.com. Well, the Root River in Lanesboro is now open again for recreation after returning to safe levels today. Here's a look at the river today. After weeks of the river being too high and fast for outdoor activities, many folks took advantage of the opportunity to get back on the water. Just take a look at all the kayakers and tubers floating along the river earlier this afternoon. The period of no river recreation was tough on local businesses, so they're glad to be back out on the water. Well, Aiden, it's nice to have you joining us on the weekends, finally. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite the surreal experience, I'll have to say that, but I'm glad that I'm glad I'm taking the helm on this. So. Well, it was a great day out in Lanesboro, but how about the rest of our area? Uh, so, some of the area 
did see a bit of rain, but a lot of the area was relatively dry. And right now, we continue to dry things out across southeastern Minnesota and northern Iowa. We can see plenty of blue sky on our tower cams out there right now with temperatures in the low 70s to the upper 70s. So there's a little bit of range, and that's going to depend on if you've just seen rain or not. We can see some of these showers down to the southwest, southwest of Albert Lee, down near Algonquin, Mason City, but those are starting to taper off, and we're going to see that continue to take place over the next few hours. Taking a broader look, we can see this area of low pressure over Iowa, which is helping to kickstart some of those showers and storms. And then we have a cold front up to the north making its way down from Canada. Both of these features are going to contribute to storm chances over the next few days. For right now, though, we're sitting at 75 in Rochester, 73 in Preston, 73 out in Albert Lee. Again, cloud cover increases the further south and west you go. But in our eastern areas, you're seeing plenty of sunshine. Taking a look at dew points, it is a little bit humid out there. Dew points are in the low 60s to mid 60s, so it's not quite the air you can wear in the oppressive humidity, but you definitely feel it when you step out the door. And dew points aren't going to change a whole lot over the next 36 hours. We're going to be at 67 by tomorrow morning. Dew points could reach 70 by the end of the, t the day tomorrow but they will drop a little bit behind the cold front going into Monday. They're going to be in the mid to upper 60s, so it's still overall going to be on the humid side. Our temperatures, though, aren't going to change a whole lot. They're going to hover right around 80 through the beginning of the week, and it's not until next week and the next weekend that we start seeing temperatures start to rise again. Unfortunately, there is going to be a rain chance that is going to stick around through the beginning of the week, and taper off toward the middle of the week, but it's not a washout. It's not going to last all day. Some areas are going to stay dry. We can look at our planner for tonight. We're going to stay mostly dry throughout the area with lows dropping into the mid-60s. For tomorrow, we are going to start the day relatively dry, and then storm chances are going to increase as we go through the afternoon. Temperatures are going to climb into the mid to upper 70s. Again, this is not a washout. Not everybody's going to see this rain. And we can see that on future clouds and radar. We start tomorrow dry. Then we start seeing those storms develop during the afternoon. And then as the sun sets, they fizzle out. And then we're going to rinse and repeat that process on Monday and Tuesday as well. The forecast for tonight, 61 under mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies. Some patchy fog later on for tomorrow. Highs in the upper 70s under partly sunny skies. A few thunderstorms around, but not a washout. And then as we head into the beginning of next week, we'll have a few storms around, but again, not a washout. Not everybody will see rain or storm chances taper off on Wednesday, and we end the week with plenty of sunshine and temperatures gradually warming into the mid-80s. Looks like we'll be all set for more nice days out on the river next weekend, at least. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. All right, thank you, Aiden. Well, the women of the WNBA will be taking center stage tonight in the finale for their All-Star Weekend. The two-day event showcases the league's best talent, starting with skills challenges and concluding tonight with the big game. It will feature one of the league's most popular rookies, Iowa's very own Caitlin Clark. It's all happening right here on ABC, so be sure to stick around after the show. And now ABC6 Sports Director Jose Solis joins us in the series with the latest in sports. So, Jose, which team do you think will win the All-Star game tonight? Well, listen, Team USA is going to be taking this very seriously for obvious reasons. I mean, they do have to go to the Olympics in a little while, but... As fun of a showcase as this will be, I do think Team USA is going to win. Now, meanwhile, here in Southeast Minnesota, more Legion baseball playoffs. Highlights after the break. Plus, the Team USA men's team in a surprisingly competitive fight. Weather on ABC6 News is brought to you by Thatcher Pools and Spa. It's Minnesota Rustos Summer Saving Sale, and we've got hot deals you won't want to miss. What better than getting new windows, bathrooms, a kitchen, siding, roofing, or doors? Getting 10% off all of it. That's right. Get 10% off everything and pay absolutely nothing for two full years. No down payment, no monthly payments, and no interest for 24 months. Get what you need now and pay for it in two years. Call or go online and make your appointment today. When it comes to your home, you want style, quality, and comfort, and you want it at the best price. For over 50 years, family-owned Brick Furniture in Austin has provided the best experience in furniture shopping. We invite you to visit our showroom, stocked with a wide variety of products. 
from sofas, dining and bedroom sets, to trendy home accents and decor. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff are always ready to assist you in finding the perfect piece to complete your space. Visit Brick Furniture in Austin today and experience the difference in quality and service. deserves access to the news that matters. And when news moves fast, you need a news team that reaches everyone. That's why ABC6 News is here to be your inclusive resource with real-time closed captioning. From severe weather to breaking news. Crews continue to shore up several columns. Never miss a word or warning as everything we say is updated in real time. Get all the information you need as the story happens. Real-time closed captioning only on ABC6 News. Made possible by Hearing Associates. I'm born and raised in Minnesota. I love Minnesota, it's my home. I grew up in the metro area. It's been really cool to get to know Northern Iowa too because I hadn't been there before. Everything's very different. You know, you have kind of like the metro city area of Rochester and then you go south into like Fillmore County and it's a lot more rural and you get to meet all of the, all of the people there and just see a lot of different ways of life and I think that's really cool. I love the Midwest. I'm always gonna be a Midwest person. <laughs> ABC 6 News, KAAL, everywhere. Jose Solis for ABC6 Sports. It's nice to be back on a Saturday again. Legion baseball playoffs revs back up this morning. We're starting out west in Hayfield in the next round of Southeast subsection play. Chatfield out to an early 3-0 lead on the road against Hayfield, but not if the yellow and blue have anything to say about that. Aiden Nelson notches a base hit, two runners on, making the mad dash home. Suddenly, Hayfield's within one. 3-2 ball game. Chatfield trying to create some space. West and Nolte hitting dead center to get on base. Chatfield eventually adding more. Ryan Rendell's chops away, though. He's not going to reach first, but the throw to third ends up going off. Two runners do come through, and Chatfield eventually pulls away. 10-5 to five final. Chatfield visits Lake City next Tuesday. Over in Pine Island, the Post 184 crew hosting Rushford Peterson. RP has gone out to a solid 4-0 lead. Did I say four? I meant five. They're putting five on it. Cole Thompson with the RBI single. Pine Island simply struggling to shift the stick out of neutral. Landon Lowry steals second, then gets to third, setting up Alex Knox, but Knox can't deliver, popping out to second. Then the bottom completely falls out for P.I., allowing a shocking ten runs in the sixth inning. As Rusher Peterson completely swarms Pine Island, a 16-0 blowout, They'll visit Caledonia next Tuesday as well. Other scores from around the area. Caledonia advances past Yoda in the championship bracket, 5-0. Wick City downs La Crescent, 6-1. Hayfield did keep its season alive in the elimination bracket. A 12-11 thriller over St. Charles. La Crescent surviving in double elimination as well. Smoking El Zambroda, 17-7 in 5. USA men's hoops in their next pre-Olympics tune-up playing in London against South Sudan. Team USA was favored by over 40 going into this. But look at the South Sudanese. Drilling the three with no sweat. Moraine Gatkwa driving for the end one. South Sudan led 50. Anthony Edwards with a dunk. Then late in the third quarter, my man Devin Booker for the tie. Under 12 seconds to go, down by one. Who else but LeBron James for the win? The Americans survived by the skin of their teeth, 101-100. Major respect to South Sudan. And real quick, the Twins are back for the second half of the baseball season, but things are currently in a delay at Target Field. We will have highlights, though, later tonight at 10 against the Brewers. Now do it for sports. We'll be right back. The 50th anniversary mattress sale is going on now at Home Sleep Express. Get 10% off sale prices and pay no interest for one year on Luxuria and Thomas Cole Sleep when you spend $9.99 or more, plus free white glove delivery during the 50th anniversary mattress sale.